back again with more World Cup action. We got Starmaster playing for US Metro, if I recall correctly, and Ipro playing for United Kingdom. And this time he didn't bring Stall Bless up. Whew. To uh, bulky offensive team. We got Young Padlo on the call. Yeah, I assume that's um, potentially Zim of Tapu Koko or Zim of Landris. And yeah. Scarf uh, Kelly. The, the, the teams look pretty similar to each other. Yeah, the Mew is obviously going to be the defogger, unless he doesn't have defog and he has Rocks Mew and. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. Rocks are either on Tren or Lando. I assume they're on Lando. Um, I can see both Landos being offensive rocks with like Z-move because that's like one of the monsters that gets up rocks was a stall. Uh, then then like sub magma train. Yeah, most of the time. Hmm. So on on Starmaster's team, I'm not sure if he's scarf Keld or scarf grin. Um, I think. No, no spikes aren't a thing, so it's maybe Ash Gren and scarf Keld. Yeah. Both Tangros, I'm not sure. Probably both Tangros are AV. He has a Mega yeah, Scissor. I haven't sure. seen I haven't seen Mega Scissor in forever. Um, Mega Scissor is actually really good in this. It matchup. is good. Um, in this matchup, I mean, he has some checks. He has Keldeo. He has potential. He has, has Heat he, he he U turns like l look what he U turns on. Mew can burn it. Gren. So Mew can burn it, but he but he mainly. He U-turns on Gren, and he U-turns on, um, uh, un unless it's Ash, of course. But he U-turns on non-Ash Gren, and he U-turns on Tangro, which is huge. And he always gets his, like, Keldeo in, Landorus in, depending on whatever, like, he wants to do. If I'm Starmaster here, I'm clicking that... Clicking that... Oh, I'm not sure. Probably Stealth Rock. Like, I want an Earthquake so bad. Yeah, yeah. But, like... I, I'd probably click Stealth Rock too. I mean, if he, if he turn, stays but... into HPIs, uh, you look like a fool if you go for rocks. Yeah, yeah, That's you the do. Same. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think he does uh, go for HPIs here. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong, of course. I mean, like Scissor, you said it has a good matchup, but like, it gets burned by Mew. Oh, SD turn one. Oh, that, so that he, works too. That works too. So he that's, predicted that's, the U turn into now, la, into now Lando. Something dies. Now something dies. So he's gonna click either rocks or sky strike and blow something out the window. Uh, or or crush. Yeah, like. but I think he's just I think he's just going Landris here. So I don't think he would click earthquake. I'm I'm clicking Z move here 100 percent of the time. But if you predict the Lando, you can go for rocks, and then you can Z move it next turn. If you con if you um, Sky Strike, you can still Oko at plus one the opposing Lando. Yeah, but no, no, I, like if, in case you're fucking. Yeah, but his team, crush. his team looks a little bit annoyed by Celestia, so I can see this being Continental Crush. Yeah, it's definitely annoyed by Celestia. The the like th there there's a way you can deal with it. Uh, especially in terms of like Tangro with having knockoff and stuff, but uh, other than that, like everything else gets seeded and just chipped down in general. So yeah. Yeah, Starman's is already in a good position here. If he clicked the HBI's turn one, this would have been completely different. Yes, yes, for sure. But there, there was no fucking way he was gonna stay in with uh, Coco. I, I would have expected him to U-turn, that's why I said, you know, just go for rocks, but... I, I assume it's Defoxes and he just brought this in expecting rocks. Even though SD Scissor slept on. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, but I don't know, I think... On this team it's I gonna do Defog, defog like, he needs that hazard control. Yeah, defog. Um, yeah, just because he does need a Defogger, looking at his team, because, like... Hazard stack just eats it alive, just eats the team alive. So yeah, he goes into Landers, he can either rock yeah, or Z move. Ooh, sub SD, maybe he's off oh, play. Oh that's that's such a that's such a nice set. If Starmas does Landers as faster, he might just get two kills here. Yes, yes. And the game does. might just be over, but if the if that's Sky Strike Lando, 
Um, okay, see, it's off place. Okay. So he's probably. It's um. Back down. He's, he's a. Oh, he, wait, what? Gravity. Wait, what? <laughs> that did, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? So Earthquake is gonna blow this away. And I think this game is oh, I think this game is pretty oh, over. I mean the Tangros Yeah the Tangros the can come in, but it's uh, it's it's off plate, it's gonna do a oh, lot. Oh he wins a speed die. tie. So I think they were both Adam at max speed. Yes. So Starmaster either doesn't have a Z move or he's like Z move Granite Tren. Yeah, he's gonna go Tangros or Mew here. But Mew Lando being gone is kind of huge, cause no um, gravity. That means no guaranteed hits anymore for iPro. Do you think he has like thunder on top of Coco? Does gravity raise the accuracy? Let me check. It. Yeah, yeah. It makes it makes you hit every single move. Okay, he gets the skull, but I was thinking that he could have gone to mute to trace the burn, like synchronize the burn, I mean. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I don't so think he wants that thing burnt. He wants a, he. I don't think he wants that thing burnt, to be honest. The scissor is very obvious here, so if he doesn't have HP fire... Like, I can see Ibro making an aggressive play. This is a free knock. Yeah, like, anyway. Stamis doesn't... is like up one more, and he can play safe, but I can see Ibro trying to double skull, catching the double. And if Starmaster stays in, it's gonna be really bad for iPro. He just plays it safe, and he- Oh my lord, see that's why I said he could've double scalded. I didn't think he would go Heatran, cause he was already up one more, so I don't think he had to make that aggressive play. But it worked out, so what can I say? So if he- I can see him going for Toxic here, or for Magma Storm if he has that. Yeah. Uh, Sub is also an option to just play it no, safe. But you, but you already run like Sub- Lando, like Subtran. Oh yeah. Sub, 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 sub Subtran and Sublando, eh. So wait, um, the Lando was sub as the EQ Smackdown. So this is Rock's trend then, or Rock's Mew? Yeah. This is Rock's trend. Defog is going to be dead. Mew is going to be a defogger. And like, and like, it's most likely going to be Earth Power. So, to be honest, I don't see uh, I Pro winning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he can just go for rocks, then like, he doesn't have to predict any switch ins then. Yes, yes, you don't. Like, it, you rocks are, rocks are like the freest thing ever right now. He's either gonna go Keldeo or... If he stays into U-turn, that's yeah. like unnecessary risky. <laughs> yeah. Well, well... I don't know, like maybe you Oh my the god, this guy's unstoppable. Oh my god, what? Good fucking game. This <laughs> this is yeah, I pro I pro is getting tossed. This guy's trying to six oh holy neck. shit. I'm sorry, but like I don't think he would ever have but I mean it, it hits the Kelly for decent damage. Yeah, yeah, it was so unnecessary. It was a good play, but so unnecessary. I mean but it's it a worked, like It's a fine play, I guess, but I probably would have gone for rocks if he has it. Just doc, it's it's just tossing. Like what? Like if Keldio comes in, what does Starmaster lose? I know that rocks are like amazing to get up, but dude, 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 fucking uh, Mew, Tang, and Tran like wall his whole team now. It's ridiculous. His Lando is in for gravity and earthquake, so if I'm not sure yet if the Coco has a Z move or the Lando had the Z move. I think the Lando was off plate on Ibro's team too. Um, yeah, it could be, could be. Uh, <sighs> like Starman is that he doesn't have to stay. He doesn't have to make any aggressive plays. But like, if he was wild, he was staying in there breaking the double. That scarf fell too. Like he's in a p perfect position now, so he doesn't have to predict <laughs> anymore. If if I if I'm Star Master, I'm doubling to Tran here. No, just, don't. Just just for tossing around, dude. Don't. If you lose Tran, Ah says I doesn't win, but it would be annoying oh, to lose it. Oh what? Oh oh yeah, understandable. Yeah, nice mid ground, I guess. Nice mid ground. I don't think he's 
Scarf Groin. <laughs> so we're probably just gonna see the Tangros come out, yeah. Maybe okay, back into Scissor we go into U turn. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, just saying what he. Yeah, you just, you just go back into Tran, like. And Ricardo, start ghosting, please. I gave him a perfect matchup. Did Ricardo build this team? Yet he loses on preview. Yeah, oh, I think Ricardo built a team for him, but he didn't bring it or something. Because he said I gave him a perfect matchup. I'm not sure. So you then into Caldea. So he's just gonna go back to Tangrowth here. And he can double the scissor predicting that, but it doesn't even do that much. Mew, Mew can even will always this if he wants to. He doesn't have to risk it though because he can miss, that would be bad for Star. The thing oh, is a known yeah. team did this some. Huge, this is huge for Star Master, there's just a free wisp. Yeah, but and I don't, I don't know if I would risk missing. Oh my lord, yep. this game is over. Whew. This game been over. I mean, it was over, but like, maybe if he dodged a lot. N not even, not even. I don't think. But um, I, that would have done 48, even if he didn't. If he dodged, that, that did nothing. Yeah, like, and and at one point or another, you just get your stuff anyway. So, who cares? I mean, Coco could have came out, and then it would have been a prediction between Taunt and U-turn. But yeah, I don't think it would have changed uh, too much. This, is this knockoff Mew? Because if yes, then like. Um, probably uh, yeah. Psychic or Ice Beam Mew. Yeah, yeah, pr probably. I mean, he can just. Although, his team, his team doesn't really get annoyed by Zygarde, so I think it's a uh, Psychic. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it gets yeah, annoyed a little bit yeah. by Zygarde, but not too much. That did fifty-six. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's a minus for Dev Coco or if Coco is just that frail. I think League used this team in OST, but I don't remember it. We had Zim of Coco. I was thinking about that because the Landris was like, um, I think the Landris was off plate. But yeah, yeah. now the Zim move is gone, so you can U turn like out. This is this is again a free trend, dude. You can also go Kelly on the U turn to flex. <laughs> dude, no. I mean, no, he's one hundred percent clicking U turn here, and you will probably. Get the regen here without taking the U turn, so he's probably switching. Yeah. Yeah, he was either going like. Like one of those three that resists U turn, like Keldeo, Tren, Landorus. So, I'm not sure if this type of Cuckoo was like physical, because that did 9%. So, I'm, th I'm not sure if that was the Wild Charge or the Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't know either, but get this U turn off real quick. Substitute in case that? he tries to knock an earthquake. Yep. Oh my god, help me. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, Smackdown or earthquake? I think earthquake does a bit more than Smackdown. Why did he sub again? Like, he was obviously not playing around with his plus two. Um, oh, to, yeah. get more burn, to get more burn damage. Yeah. Yeah, burn stall. This is gonna be like 40 or 49. Yeah, and now and now Keld gets a kill. And the Keld click secret sword, Keld gets a kill. Yeah, Coco gets to it KO'd. Why'd he go Tran there? I don't get it. Why did he Said say thing. thank you? Because he gave him the one kill and he didn't 6 0 him? This I mean, if he, if he has Magma Storm and he misses... Thank you, I didn't ask. I guess it's just gonna throw the Keld in here. Hmm. Ooh, is this Spectren? 
this is, Wait, is this that, is Spex Jam. Is that the Padlov special? Go, go. <laughs> okay, that killed like six or five scissors. <laughs> well, back in the tank was on the U turn. Oh, see, it's the vulture. I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Cause everyone blunder used it, and like, I saw it in the video and he pamped me about it. I gotta open my eyes a bit more for like different Zimus on Coco, not only Z tables. I, early on the um, Alexander again, there was like the Guardian of Alola, which is like these Nature's Madness, I think. So the Tangrus is gonna go for Giga Drain, I assume. Yep. Now he's either gonna go his own tank and click knockoff, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I think Mew just wins on its own. I don't know if he's gonna resolve to 5 0. Like, he kinda has to try and scald here and burn the Mew. Because, like, if he stays in. Okay, okay. Okay, goes killed. Like, if he stayed oh, in on a skull, it would have been bad for him. Insanity. So he's just gonna click Secret game. Sword here, 2 hit KO the tank. Yeah, he's gonna click Secret Sword twice, get another kill. Mm. Ugh. I mean, he can go back into his own kill and then potentially win the speed yeah, and tie. Yeah, and then get 2 KO it again? Okay. No, win the speed tie and crit this kill. Because I don't know if a regular Secret Sword Scarf would even kill it. To be honest, to be honest, I'd go Mew here just Yeah, I was to about play. to say he can go Mew too on a secret sword, because Mew also lifts the water move. Or tank, or tank, uh, Yeah, that does 51, so it doesn't even... Oh, he gets the crit, see, that's what I'm saying. Oh, of course, of course. To okay. make it, bring it down a bit closer. But yeah, Mew can uh, softball or psychic here, and the game is over. And GG, that was fun. And we will be back with... Porsche was Asuya. Thank you guys for watching. Nice and fast game, no stall. Overheat goat train. Bye. Young Pat up in the call. <laughs>